That's right. That's right. right. They want to hear it. I hit that joint. Let's record it already. Oh shit! Yeah. Okay, boom. Hey, yo, everybody, yeah. boom, 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 do, 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 do. I know we have a, a special guest on here that doesn't like the boom, boom, booms, the do, 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 whatever, or whatever. <laughs> I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, boom. But we have right. Tochi, YouTuber and filmmaker. How you doing, bro? How you doing? Man? I'm, I'm good, my man. Thank you so much for asking. How y'all doing? Uh, good, yo. Boom. I like to first start out by saying I went to the Benny the Butcher show yesterday, and it was ninety-seven percent black people in there. Oh, work. Okay. Believe it or not, <laughs> believe it or not, there was a, a few, um, I guess, new affairs, white people and Asians in there. Uh, and you're right, the white people had the gear on. You know what I'm saying, but the black people did too. But the old, older fans. <laughs> They had the, the older 187 Murder Gang hoodies on. You know what I'm saying? Boom, 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 boom. So I got a question they, for you. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to introduce you really fast. It's Tochi. Okay, He's it. a filmmaker from Toronto, I believe. Yeah. Jim and D. Um, go ahead. Ask the question. Go ahead. So go my ahead. question, I got two questions for you, actually. So the first go one ahead. was, um, you know, where y'all at? Where, where, where did you go to the show? Oh, here in Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah. Oh, you're in Atlanta. Okay. Yeah, Atlanta. Although I'm originally from Toronto. Right really? Wow, okay. Yeah. Rocking yeah. Roots you see his boots hoodie? See that. That's right, that's right. You got the roots on. So that's, that's you... champion. Of, so Carl, uh, you live in um you live in Atlanta too? Or where where you? Yeah, yeah, I'm currently in Atlanta as well. Yeah. Okay, all right, interesting. Um, and you're up there in Toronto. I'm in Toronto right now, yeah. All right. And then my second question actually was this. Um, why'd you feel the need to tell me that? <laughs> what? The oh, because of, yeah, yeah. Because you said that no black people listen to Griselda. That's what you say. You say absolutes on your page. You do not, you do not, you use your opinions as absolutes like nothing else matters or exists except your opinion. You don't use <laughs> mathematics and science or nothing. You just use your opinion as facts. You said no black people listen to Griselda. Yeah, correct? Yeah. That's correct. I mean, black people don't listen to Griselda like that. Then why is there 97% people at the uh, Benny the Bushes show? I'm black. Yeah. I mean, you're black, sure, but I can't prove it. What? Listen, you're telling me a story about... No, 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 no. You say, you, oh, no, 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 no. You say something kind of a tad bit offensive. You said, I'm no, black, no, I'm but you can't about, prove it. No, no, no. I was talking about your previous sentence, like about the amount of people in the audience. I'm, you oh, black, I filmed I it. I filmed it. I filmed at shows. I filmed at shows. Okay. So right. you, you'll so, see. You'll see. Okay. So you can, you filmed everybody in that in that space? I put the camera up. Honestly, just for you, bro, because what goes on Patreon, I went, okay, I went to Boldy James. I went uh -huh. to, uh, who was that after that? Who was that to Boldy James? We went to, oh, I went to Conway first. Uh, then I went to um, Boldy James. Then I went to um, this Benny the Butcher show. And just for you to refute your argument of no one black listens to a Griselda, I held the camera up, show the white people, show the Asians, then I show all the black people in the stand. Now, your argument might be very well this right here that um, Atlanta's a black city. So of course the people that go to the show is black, correct? Right, but sure. I don't think he actually have, have you ever actually been down South in America before? Yeah, VA, I have family in Texas. I was just in Houston like a month ago. I've been, I've been in the South for sure. Then ask me, ask me this, then why do you think that Freddie Gibbs is a, a mumble rapper? Are we jumping topics now? Yeah, yeah, because okay. uh, I'm, I'm yeah, 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 jumping topics. Hey, yo, this is not a, this is not, this is not a battle. It's a debate. No, no, it's it's not. A, it's it's really a conversation. Why do you think Freddie Gibbs is a mumble rapper? If you uh been traveled down south, you're from Toronto. You uh, -huh. uh say you're obsessed with New York culture, but you haven't lived lived down south. But you have been down south. No, no I've never lived down south. Yeah. So, so you don't understand the dialect of Southerners, possibly even though uh he's from Gary, Indiana. Freddie no, no, no. Um, why I call it Freddie Gibbs a mumble rapper is to highlight the fact that Freddie Gibbs, the way he rhymes, um, he he doesn't. In my opinion, he doesn't intonate very well, and there's a there's a certain. He doesn't what? Say it again, please. It doesn't, doesn't intonate very well. Okay, there's a way that he raps where 
his words kind of get jumbled a little bit. Um, and because of the fact that he is very monotone, honestly, in terms of his delivery, and they, he doesn't necessarily, you know, like when you rap, you, 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 there's a certain style of finesse to it that you kind of like, it's almost like you're dancing on track. So you, you emphasize certain words. It depends on what style you have. Sure. But I'm saying you, you emphasize certain words and you, you know, you say certain words a certain way to there's get your point across. There's a lot of different across. ways to rap. There's a lot of different ways to rap. There's not just one uh, way to rap. Me, rap yeah, yeah. Let me finish. Let me finish. So my point is that there are ways, like even in the, in the same, like in the same bars or something you're saying, like the first couple of lines, there's certain ways that you see a word or something like that that sounds a little bit different from the previous word and how you pronounced it. And what I'm trying to tell you is that I feel like Freddie gives his monotone, right? Like there's, there, he just kind of wraps this sort of flat delivery all the time. And because he's doing it pretty quickly, right? It's a bit, it sounds like fucking mumble rap. I mean, and, and look, at the end of the day, I'm not the only person that even thinks the shit or sees the shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I was joking okay. and saying that the dude sounds like a mumble rapper. I mean, so you're joking. He, so some so some of these points you say are jokes. Oh, well, look, listen. Anything I say, you know, despite what um, some of the trolls might think, you know, my my conversation is there to highlight a point, right? Like, I, I'm not necessarily out here saying like, you know, this is a, an absolute or whatever. I mean, I think so you are points, you actually yeah. are saying absolutes. We don't know if you're joking or not, especially if you come across your page. If your rhetoric and your lar largest videos come off as which sucks. <laughs> Uh, garbage, oh, they do so. trash. Sure. sure. If you come off with that right sure. away, you're sure. automatically number one, disrespectful. Number two, you're coming off as a hater if your videos, your largest videos, are laced with the rhetoric, trash, hate, no, trash, or what is it, garbage, and sucks. You come off as a hater, and you come off as a, yeah, and you come off as a cloud chaser. So, so here's the thing, Lukey. I'm going to tell you this, right? Mm -hmm. Um, oh, like oh, I said, do you rap? Let me ask you this question: Do you rap? Do you MC? Let me let me answer you one thing. Real, real quick, okay. let, answer that for oh, me. No. One real quick, at a time. real quick, real oh, quick. Me, gonna that to do, go. Oh, me. We're gonna have to do this one at a time. Okay, I'll answer your question <sighs> one right. at a time. So, in answer, because you're saying a lot, right? Two. So let's 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 get to the point about and this machine gun back. Some of yeah, my, to the back. Some of my peoples have brought up like some of the trolls who go, oh, you know. You're just saying this, whatever, you hate, blah, blah. Here's the thing, right? Like I said, I'm 37. I've been listening to rap for a long time, okay? 38 years old. I'm 38. 38, right? I'm 38. I'm 38. Go ahead. Okay. So here's the thing. In hip-hop, the way we talk, we talk rough. We talk street. We talk raw. That's what hip-hop is. Are you street, though? Listen, listen. listen. Wait, relax. Let me speak. You've spoken. Right? Jesus Christ. So the point is this, right? Like, at the end of the day, when if, if you've been around you know black you know how we give it up okay and this is all black folk like this you ain't street we though. talk we talk, no, no, listen this is this is it's not even about no no no, no you said street you street i'm saying street right? in terms of the communal sense not street in terms of drugs my uh, I, 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 I ain't say drugs i ain't there's not a, a, nah, a street listen, see? okay all right you're not street though so you don't have you don't i'm street. not no no i'm not i'm not from the street of course not but listen, let's. Right. Why don't we quiet down? Right. Talk, pipe down. All right. No, I'm, I'm not tight. This is not ten. I'm actually looking for my ten. G, go ahead, continue. All right, relax. So here's the thing. I'm relaxed. Like I said, it, relaxed. Pop, right. we talk, we talk, it, we talk rough, we talk real, we talk gutter, we we get straight to the point, right? And you know, if you've been around hip hop long enough, the way I talk is very standard. Honestly, it's not like it's it's only a newer listener. Who might look at my stuff and be offended necessarily because again in, in real hip-hop circles we talk like yo that shit was trash that was whack like and it could be even a decent project it could even be like eh. but if it's not hitting it's not hitting and we we keep it gutter like that that is hip-hop to its core so anybody who's offended by it, stuff that i'm saying i call this person trash or whatever if they're like literally offended by the shit i know that this is somebody who's new to this culture and they don't no! have, yeah i know they're new to the shit Number one, Wrong. not only are they new to the shit, but two, like I said, they don't really hang around black folk. They don't know how black folk talk because I know how Wrong. black folk talk. I've been around a lot of different kind of black folk. I'm, I'm so you don't, Do you consider yourself you black? Do you consider yourself black? Of course. There you go. They don't separate yourself from nobody else. You're, no, you're black. That's you, what you I'm separate. Talking. You said you grew up idolizing black New Yorkers. 
you are black, no matter if you're from tr Toronto. I know you're a Nigerian the, the, the same. I don't know if you're Igbo, you're Yoruba, a Teve. I don't know what Yoruba. You, I, my home is a Teve and a Igbo. But anyway, mm -hmm. you do you do you MC? I don't MC now. You don't MC. I, I know tried. You, I've okay, tried check in the past for sure, but cool. I never. Now, never now, on top of that, you're a filmmaker. Do you draw your panels? Uh, whatever right. you. Huh? Do I storyboard? You draw your, your storyboard and your panels. You draw those? I don't storyboard, no. You don't storyboard? So you're not an artist either. You don't do art. You don't, don't paint or anything like that? I don't paint, no. There's a reason why I'm asking you this. Do you b-boy? Do, 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 you, do you dance? I mean, I dance, but I don't b-boy, no. There you go. My brother, you are, no, you are not a part of the hip-hop culture. You are a fan of the hip-hop culture. There are four elements of hip-hop. What are the four elements of hip hop? Carl, do you know? Tucci. Uh, not Tucci. So do you know the, the four I, elements of hip hop? What I are mean, the four I'll, I'll take a stab. It would be um, fashion, dance. No, no fashion. No. The four Graffiti. elements of hip hop. Graffiti. Graffiti. Break dance. Okay. Yes. Hip hop, music, rapping, DJ. DJ. You don't do no four of those. You don't do none of those. So you are no, no. hip hop, more hip hop than no one. And you actually give people, you talk gutter and you want to talk gutter in the street. You are not gutter in the street. You are not. You know what I'm saying? You are not a part of the culture. You are a fan of the culture. I'm a part of the culture. I used to take with my white gloves. I graffiti. I had my tag outside right there with, with my dead homegirl, Brie. She has uh -huh. a block of cheese. You know what I'm saying? I DJ with Serato and I MC. You know what I'm saying? One of your fans... Googled me and said they couldn't find nothing about me, but I do have credentials. Planet Asia just messaged, messaged, messaged me yesterday, told me he's proud of me. You know what I'm saying? But if you don't do four of those hip elements of hip hop, you are not part of hip hop culture. You are a fan. You are a music critic more than you are a part of the culture, which is fine. Not everybody is built or supposed to be a part of the culture. They are fans, just like some of the white people that were at the show yesterday. They're probably not a part of the culture. But there are good white people out there that do graffiti, do breakdance, do DJ, and do MC. And a lot of these white guys that are actually in our culture, which I call the abyss, actually are great fans of components of hip hop because they grasp closely to the four elements of hip hop more than you. And you are telling people and calling people dweebs and shit for no fucking reason. What is a dweeb to you? What is a dweeb? Okay. So. Here's what I think is interesting. There's a couple of things. What is I've a dweeb? Never... I answered your question. I'll let you talk. What is a dweeb? That's my question to you. Nah, you call people dweebs. Listen, let, let's, let's be honest here, Luki. What? Um, when you reached out to me, because you, you reached out to me to talk, like, you know, about... This conversation. Um, All these questions right here I had for you right there. Go ahead. So, so here's the thing. The number one thing is when you reached out to me, I assumed that this was going to be a conversation about music, it it's is. Like, no, no, no. I mean, not not about Tochi, the, the guy. Like, I mean, that, that shit is hero worship. I didn't tell you I what it's about. I didn't well, tell you what it was I mean, about. I guess I should have. I should have. I should have known because I just assumed that we were going to sit here and actually talk about Griselda's we, music. This is the build up. This is a build up. No, no, nah, it's not. It's nah, interesting because we, we look at you. Finish. I what listen you to say. Talk. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm gonna set up to you to finish. Just tell me to go when it's time for you to go. All right. So here's the thing. I only joined this because I thought we were going to talk about the music, like, because I'm a music dude, okay? At the end of the day, man, like, I'm a fan. I've never pretended to be anything more than a fan of this hip-hop shit, honestly. I don't, so, you, you know, point blank period, right? Now, in terms of whether or not, uh, you know, the different ways that one can express their hip-hopness in hip-hop culture, I do think that, yes, like, obviously, you know, if you are in those four core elements, of course, I respect that. And I do think to a certain degree, I understand the argument. I mean, um, what the fuck? Method Man said, you know, F a rap critic, you know, he talking, I live it, right? Like, I understand Ooh. that to a certain degree, yeah. right? Like, and there is there is an argument to be said for like, yo, if you really, really, truly love this hip hop shit, you would have entered one of these four elements and you would try to do something with it, right? And so therefore, Sweet. like, you know, Criticism is cool and all that, but like you don't really love it as much as somebody who really enters the art form and does the craft. And I totally respect that and I understand that. I will say though that mm -hmm. on the flip side of that, that doesn't necessarily mean that somebody who is not in those elements can't necessarily critique the culture, 
and can't give a viewpoint that's important to that culture. And if we look, if we look at how hip hop has come to the masses and how it's been created, a lot of the people that you know brought hip hop, whether you talk about Russell Simmons or um, some of these executives who who brought hip hop to the masses, so that you can view, even view the shit and join the shit, were not part of the elements. Grandmaster Cass was saying this in a recent Drink Chance interview. So the point that's is inevitable. that. You, there's very there's there's a lot of ways for somebody to express their hip hop ness that isn't necessarily part of joining the four elements, right? So it's 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 so it's my so my point is I see both sides of the argument, and of mm -hmm. course I respect somebody that does in fact take the time to learn how to rap or learn how to do all that stuff because it is difficult. I'm telling you, I've tried to write rhymes just for fun, nothing like crazy. I never had uh, MC dreams like that or anything, you know. So I've tried to write rhymes and things that I can. I vaguely understand how it's done and I can, I think I can write a decent rock, but I'm not great. And I know that it's hard. So, but at the same time, this is why I also, you know, when I look at the guys that we call dope and they are actually dope and I really respect what they do. And I go, wow, like, like we talk about the Nazis and the hoes and the ghost faces of the world. Like you mm -hmm. really got to give it up to them. And that's why it's just going to be when people put other rappers and say, oh, they're just as good or they're close or whatever. And I'm like, nah, I can see the difference because I've studied this shit as, as much as a, as much as a, you know, guy on the sidelines who's not necessarily involved in the craft can do it. So I have actually looked into it. So that, so that's, 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 that. and secondly, I would love to, for us to get into the actual, like, let's talk music for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but my whole thing my right. whole thing is this, right? Because my whole thing is this: like, there's not enough discussion in rap anymore about the music. That's what's interesting to me. I don't really care about like the person, the image, who they have, who they're friends with, or none of that. Like, my whole channel has always okay. been the music. All right? Is your shit hitting or is it not hitting? Period. That's all I care about. You know what I'm saying? And I give tough love, but you know, if you look at my channel. You'll notice that I give a lot of love. I give a lot of appreciation. People look my, like my stuff because I'm happy in my videos. I'm playing music I genuinely enjoy. And if I can even give you one last secret, actually, this is what's kind of interesting. The people that be looking at my videos and give me, like, those ones that, you know, Resolve the Sucks or Kanye Sucks or whatever. What's funny about those videos, and yes, you're right, they do have the highest views. Why they have the highest views is actually because those stands or whatever search for it. Because on YouTube, I can see how views come about. And the reality is that most of these guys who are commenting on my videos and being angry on my videos, they're searching for this shit. I didn't ask them to put it up. I'm not putting it in their faces. They're literally typing in Griselda socks, Kanye socks. You know, Lil Wayne's trash, and they're finding my videos and being angry, angry at the shit. <laughs> but it's like, yo, like I didn't. I mean, I just put it out there. Like, I mean, you're the one that's looking for this shit, and if you find it, like, why are you mad at it? Like, <laughs> um, that's what that's so, man. Can I can I just interject real quick? Because I've been I've been trying to really kind of let you guys hash this out. Um, you know, I know Lukey was getting pretty passionate there, but I'm passionate about everything. You might tell me you have a, a contest about peeing. Across the room, I'm going to try to pee farther you in the room. Yeah, that's and anybody that's anybody that's watched our knows podcast yeah. knows that, that he gets pretty I'm, animated. I'm, but I'm on number three right now, not on number four. But go ahead, Carl. The, the only here. issue that I really have is there are some people that that when they they speak, they speak in such a definitive way. Oh yes, well, Brazil the sucks. Kanye sucks. They ain't never Drake made a good sucks. song. Yeah. And and. And what happens is it, it intentionally gets people riled up. Now, I can tell you, and I've said this before, I'm not a Drake fan. That doesn't mean I can do what Drake does. That doesn't mean that there aren't millions of people that love what he does. So and, and that's fine for them. I'm totally cool with that. I don't have to listen to it. If I'm making videos telling everybody how Drake sucks, what's why? If I don't talk about it, people know that I have no interest in it. And if I'm talking about the, the artists that I really like, then people know what I like. And if somebody mm -hmm. says, hey, why don't you do one for Drake? I don't, I don't fuck with Drake. And why that's it. But if I'm doing those videos, and they're the videos that are getting all those views, because yes, people want to find something to get mad at. There are lots of people that are commenting in here, you know, that are, that are you know, you're crazy, or Lukey's crazy, or all this stuff. 
people yeah, want to get upset. I, I get that. But then we fuel it by di giving these absolutes. If you had a video that said, I'm reviewing Griselda's new album and I didn't really like it. This is why I didn't like it. I'm not a fan of this. I'm not a fan of that. It's a completely different approach than saying this sucks. So, because to you, you might feel that way. And I totally get that. But to other people, it inspired a whole new movement of, of raw, gritty 90s hip hop that, that we miss. And like I said, I'm 48. And I came up like from the originals. And, and so when, when I kind of got out of hip hop in 2001, it was because it had changed so much. And I didn't realize that there were still artists. You know, we talked to Nems yesterday, who's been around for a long time doing this. But the Griseldas brought that spotlight back in. The Griselda, you know, um, they, they brought a shine back to what we enjoy. Mm -hmm. And that's not to say that Drake should stop making music. Or, or you know, Lil Wayne or anybody, do your Play thing. Party. Yeah, do your thing. I'm fine with it. You know, Lil Nas X can change his whole thing every, every you know, two weeks. I don't really care. I just don't have to follow it. So that's my only issue with it. And I, I think, you know, you're a very intelligent guy. Um, you know, I, I love that you've been really patient and, and came on here with us for it. So I, I don't want to, I don't want to come. I just, that's my big issue. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Can I address that? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. All right. So, Carl, you make a point. However, I, I strongly disagree with you here. And the reason I disagree with you is that I feel that hip hop has always talked about absolute absolutes. That's kind of what makes hip hop interesting. You know, hip hop is, is very direct. I mean, it's a raw, direct culture. It's never, and especially when it was good. Now that, um, you know, the music is trash, most of it. Um, and we get into, oh, well, you, you shouldn't really be saying this or, you know, it's, it's you know, I, I prefer this. You don't prefer it. Like it, we've 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 come into what I would say, you know, it's become soft in that regard. Hip hop has always thought the great shit has always been in absolutes. You know what I'm saying? This shit is whack. People say, yo, you're trash. You know what I'm saying? Like you look at Public Enemy, Motherfuck Him and John Wayne. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you look at uh, 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 what's that line uh, that's. Um, uh Bushwick Bill spit, you know, you know, they say the Beatles was the greatest nigga fuck Paul and the rest of y'all. Like, I mean <laughs> so I, I, I just want to I, wait, I just want to respond please. to that real quick. I just want to respond to that real quick. Okay, okay. The difference is I'm I'm not in the culture. I'm a fan of the culture. Just like you are. You're so, not street. You're not in the streets. You're not in the you have not experienced this shit. <laughs> You say this is what we are. We we say in the, our talk, talking direct stuff that you say. You put out your rhetoric, even right before you click on your shit. G, you coming off disrespectful. So anything you come come off and say after that is just added on to it. Now you can say it's soft and pussy. I've seen people get killed, shot, robbed, kidnapped. Might even see any worse than that. I really don't want to iterate on right now. And it's like you come on here. And you're not of that lifestyle. You don't see none of this shit. But this is how we talk. This is how we do. And you're not really in the culture. You are a Toronto. You live in Toronto. You lived everywhere else. You shook cool hands, her, cool her can, whatever that. I don't know what that means. But you're not a street dude, G. So you trying to talk street confuses me sometimes. I don't understand the street. I don't, I don't understand. What you but you say you say we talk street. That's what you say. You you, you say uh, we talk street. Listen. Yeah, definitely. But you say hip hop comes from listen. I know, what, I know where hip hop has come from. I know okay, where hip hop let me, from. Okay, so let me address your point, actually, since I was really speaking to Carl at this point, right? We're talking about both of us because we're in an interview with both of us right now. So sure. go ahead. Go ahead. Sure. So the point is this. Like I said, at the end of the day, hip hop is direct, right? Hip hop is direct. It's exaggerated. You know this. You've listened around. I know it's exaggerated. So, yeah. so, so, so the point is that hip hop is direct, but there's a reason why it's direct and why it's raw and why you know, MCs of passion and say how they honestly feel. When Jay-Z and Nas were going but out... you're not an MC. Can, can you let me finish, please? All right? You can't just be interjecting, bro. Like, it's, it's kind of irritating. Real talk. So... All right, go ahead. Let me finish. So the point is that when Nas and Jay, you know, you sent, you know, I sampled your voice. You, you know, you was using it wrong. I made a hot record. You make, you know, you, you know, you, I made it a hot song, whatever. Like, I mean... That's exaggerated, but there is the whole point of rap is that you're supposed to be direct in 
to the point and raw with it because it forces you to think about what that person is actually saying and see if there's any truth to what they're saying. And usually with a great artist, there is actually a strong element of truth. Now, there is part of it where it might not be necessarily true, but if you just went on it and was like, well, you know, I kind of like this, but I don't, you know, it's, it doesn't, it doesn't force, it doesn't force that intellect to, to kick in. You know what I'm saying? That thought to kick in. And that's rap. Like, that's why I don't understand when people be mad at someone critiquing. Like, if you told me Drake is trash, that's fine with me. I don't give a damn. Like, that's how we talk. I mean, listen, I've lived a lot of different places, man. Like, when I talk around hip hop heads, especially back in the day, now things are soft, but back in the day, like, we used to say shit like that. We used to say, yo, Big was whack. I remember the first time I heard Big and I thought Big was whack. Because the first time I heard Big, I heard was hypnotized. And I was like, I, I can't relate to the champagne sipping bullshit. Like, what is this shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, and then I was talking, and, and you know, then I got put on to other shit. And then I was like, oh, okay. And even the funny thing is, even with some of my DJ friends that I met later in life, and I told them, you know, and these are guys who grew up here, even. Because, like, you know, anybody who studied in Toronto knows, knows that I grew up in, I was born in Toronto, but I actually lived overseas. Like I, oh, I thought you said, you said grew up here, so I wanted to know where here was. Yeah, yeah. So I was, where was born here? here. You said you said your DJ friends you met here. So you here, 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 yeah, yeah, here in Toronto, and also in, I mean also in New York too. But like here in Toronto, I, I remember talking to a dude who I mean was back in the day doing his thing, trying to get on and all that stuff, and he was even telling me the same thing. Like when he first heard Big, he was like, uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? But then, you know, Big came out with a bunch of different records and it was kind of one of the first times you saw a rapper do multiple styles of songs. That, and this is what we, we praise Big for. Like Big can do the radio joint and then he'll turn around and give you that unbelievable. Then he'll turn around and give you that suicidal thoughts and you go, oh, this is a, you know, a complete artist for certain degree. If you just hear the radio shit, that like, you might think, uh, I don't get it. Like this guy's talking about sippy champagne, that's kind of whack. But my point is this, right? Hip hop heads in general, we if you're really passionate about the music, I find that like we don't always have to agree, but we do sort of form a general consensus because when you when you really sit and think about shit, certain things become really obvious. And I like the fact that there is that spirit of like that clashing spirit, which has always been around in hip hop. I mean, again, like you can go back to interviews of people who talk about this. You, you know, I've again, I've met pioneers in my short time hanging out in New York and being around meeting, you know, Debbie D talking to her about her experiences living in the Bronx. And, you know, she's one of the pioneer female rappers and how it was always battles. It was always clash. It was like, yo, who's better? Nah, like you're trash. You're whack. It's always been there. Like hip hop has always had a battle spirit to it. So for someone to be angry about me essentially being a bad a battling music critic if, if you want to call it that is weird to me because it's like this is hip-hop like this is this is what it is you know let, what let me please interject oh wait you, you cut off there you go yes but check it out check it out here here's here's what it definitely is right here though right here uh you have this woman you love her you walk with her home every night at work you embrace <laughs> her you make love to her you want her to have your babies you, you just love this woman. She's beautiful. She helps you out. She cooks and cleans for you. You cook and clean for her. You fuck her. You wipe her pussy off. You know what I'm saying? You go to the bathroom. You know, warm, warm wash clap. Wipe, wipe, wipe off. You know what I'm saying? You walk outside with her. You're holding her hand. You walk up and say, yo, your bitch trash. What do you want to do? <laughs> I want to beat you up. Now, I might shoot you. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to fight no more. I got a daughter. But here's, here's, another, here's another thing. Uh, Jay Z said, "Reasonable doubt is his baby." So when these artists have their albums, even though you don't like them and you disrespect their art, it's like their children. If you talk about my kid, I'm definitely gonna fuck you up. So you have to understand both ways. You know what I'm saying? Sure, you call shit trash, you call shit it sucks or whatever. So and you say if you're passionate about the music, music I'm passionate. I make art myself. I'm I low key. If you diss Tyler Quali on uh, Reflection Eternal or um, some shit like that, I probably be, feel more disrespected than you not liking my own music because I know my music is not for everybody. I'm a nerdcore rapper. I rap about nerd comic book cocaine rap music. That's what I do. So I understand why you don't get it. But if you mess with someone, so, or Wu-Tang or something to um, make me, or Black Delicious or some shit like that who made me understand myself and God more, I'm gonna feel more offended because that's that woman who I made love to 
who I walked with every day in the park, who taught me who God was, who taught me supreme mathematics. So you're gonna, you're offending my woman. Cause hip hop was like, oh, the ODB said what? Like you see, you see um, some dude with uh, your bitch, you get mad at the bitch and you wanna kill the nigga and the bitch. Because like, yeah, I mean, it's like, it's your woman, it's someone you love. So you should know as well, because I believe you do love the culture. People told me not to do this interview with you because they called you everything out the book. I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna get into it. But they really didn't think you they called you a casual. You know what I'm saying? They say you didn't love hip hop. Right. You don't care. You don't care. But uh what is a casual to you? What is a casual? Do you think I'm really a casual with my uh I don't know think you actually researched me, who I am or what I did, but um what I have done for the culture. But what is a casual, and do you really think I'm a casual? Okay, so in answer to your question, right? So first and foremost- So what question? You, in answer to your question about oh, yeah, okay. casual, and also to address your point about uh, the woman you love and all that. Um, yeah, I would say that, again, to me, what I what I really like about hip-hop is that hip-hop is both, there's an emotional element to hip-hop, like all music, music is emotional at its core. Indeed. But, but what I also really love about hip hop is that hip, hip hop to me is like the smartest genre of music ever made. You know what I'm saying? There's there's an intellect aspect to hip hop. There's there is a rationality. There's an actual a distance to a certain degree that I like in hip hop that I don't really see in other art forms. So it's it's not just emotional. Anyway, the um, in answer to your question about what a casual is, a casual to me is somebody that doesn't really that just doesn't really listen to the to the art form, the full expression of the art form. Um, isn't like really what i'm trying to say by that is that they, they just you know they don't really listen to it like that like you know what i'm saying like um they may listen to one or two artists they may listen to one or two regions in a certain degree um they may listen to one era but they're they're not necessarily these are not people that really listen to hip-hop like that you know what i'm saying like they it's probably something they play with other stuff while they you know they listen to pop music or whatever and Again, there's nothing, I, I have a video talking about this specifically, you can watch it, and I think it's explained exactly what I mean by a casual. I have no problems with somebody being casual. Most people are casuals, right? I mean, you most throw it around like a diss. I, I throw it around like a diss in one instance and one very important instance only. I throw it around as a diss for people, for casuals who like to speak on people who actually have been listening to shit for a long time and try to run the culture based on their short 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 sighted short sighted opinions, right? Oh that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. I get sure. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Right? I get it. Yeah, you, so, but yeah, you do know a lot of good music. I anybody out there watching this right now, you cannot fun on this brother. I remember I turned on one of his videos just for a second. He was playing Ford Exchange connected. That's one of my favorite albums right there. Ever. So he does not know a lot of good music. You can't hate on something for that. But what you can't hate on him for is his rhetoric number one and number two is rhetoric. It really is really I'll, fucked I'll, up. I'll bro. See that. Yeah, it's better. You can hate on for his rhetoric. I'll be there. I'll yeah. be there. <laughs> There's a lot of other things you can hate on him, but I'm gonna let, let, let you. Uh, but no, don't hate. Just like you cannot understand. You, you don't have to understand this, brother. Just like you don't have to understand me. Some people think I'm a cornball. You know what I'm saying? Boom. But um, do you think I'm a casual? Your fans called me. I, I said I was casual. <laughs> you don't do nothing. You know nothing about me. You know nothing about me. Listen, I, I bear, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I barely know anything about you, my dude. Like I, I know that um, you, you did a track or whatever, and I think you used to roll with them dead end hip hop dudes. Yeah, um, very, very. Nah, they're my, they're my homies. They're, they're cool, yo. They're, oh, those are they're really guys. cool brothers. They're Man, really cool brothers. They're what the fuck you talking about? I, I look at they, their, they're really some. <laughs> some of them. Uh, I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> okay, some, same thing with you, brother. Same thing with you. Uh, they uh, are. They have one guy brother. on there. They have one guy on there that probably does not. You can say he's a casual. You can't. You know what I'm saying? But he's a good brother. He's a good brother. Listen, yeah. I'm not saying they're not bad. They're, they're bad people. Again, I don't know them, right? It's not cool. It's not personal. I, I'm not, I, I didn't say nothing about bad people. People sure, at all. Sure. I said casual. I said casual. Sure, sure. You know but I do think that. And look, I've been familiar with that and uh, for. I mean, since. 20, what, 2010, 2011, whenever it is that they started doing this. Yeah, you, you was two years ahead of them, huh? So, you know, I had a I had a channel, like I set up this my my, my channel in like 20, 2008 or something like that. 2008, you know I did the knowledge, I did the knowledge on you, yeah. 2008. So, you know, I've been on YouTube for a minute, but at the time I wasn't really putting up, um, you know, I wasn't nah. putting up rap videos and, and getting nah, opinion on stuff like that, right? Yeah. So but what I'm trying to say is this, at the end of the day, right, my whole thing is, 
you know, it, this hip hop shit is very deep and very complex, you know, and, and it goes no, back. And right, and, and it goes back several decades at this point now, and there's uh-huh. multiple regions and styles. And uh-huh. you know, outside, I mean, outside of you know, even the United States, you come to, to Canada, you come to you go to France, you go to Italy, whatever. Like there's Indeed. literally a, there's hip hop stores hip-hop hip-hop everywhere. everywhere, right? So when a dude who's only really listened to Nas, J, Kendrick, 50 wants to talk to me like i don't know what i'm talking about and i'm thinking to myself like yo this guy started listening to hip-hop probably in like 2000 and, you know 2016 he's probably some little white kid in arizona who's trying to talk shit <laughs> like like this is goofy to me you know what i'm saying like that's what i'm saying about that at the end of the day it's there are things i mean i'm a casual in a lot of things you know what i'm saying like in a lot of genres like I just I like it in general, but I'm not like invested in finding out who made the stuff, who's like, you know, what their take is on it, or you know what I mean, like the artistic in, things about it. Like in that's what I'm or saying. Other stuff. Or no, I'm or saying other I'm stuff. saying another thing. There are there are genres like I mean I genuinely I would say, um, I like let's say soul music or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like I grew up, you know, my, my dad used to play that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I know a few things, but I'm not like you know I don't watch interviews talking about. Uh, Teddy Pendergrass and shit like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not, um, but I do sit there and I literally watch hours of footage or hours of describing, talking about hip hop history, right? And, or an artist's perspective or why they made this song versus that song. Like, for example, oh, the, the, the Grandmaster Kaz interview that was on Dream Champs was a fantastic so. interview. It was one of the best, I think, Nori ever did. And, um, you know, Kaz will say certain things like, that make me go wow like again people don't know this right like he was talking about how a lot of the cadence of how people rapped in the sort of mid to late 70s a lot of them borrowed it from a car commercial from some reanimated animated car commercial and i was just like wow this is really fascinating so the point the point is that like hip-hop is like anything is something that you if, if you really are serious about it you do need to dig into it um, and really sort of love it. And I love all the different styles. As, yes, I am more biased towards New York type of sound and stuff like that. But that's because they invented it. It makes more sense. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that I don't like the other coast. I love the other coast. I've always embraced the other coast. I was a Timbaland DJ premier kid. Like, that's, like, honestly, equally. And then the Neptunes, they came from VA. Like, I, I was I was that guy. So I've always liked and Drake. Like I've always liked multiple regions. And I just think that a lot of the times people be stuck in their certain boxes and they think if it doesn't sound like this, it must be whack. And I'm like, nah, yeah. like hip hop hip hop has got a lot of different styles. Real, real quick, real quick, I understand gotcha. that. Um gotcha. uh I have to ask this question because the Makami in a uh Makami review, which you said you didn't even listen to the whole project. Uh, yeah, why did you feel why why did you even like even review it if you ain't gonna list the whole thing. <laughs> like what? 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 what, what Homie, somebody asked. Like, listen, I got, I got subscribers. They asked me to listen to the shit. I, I didn't even want to check it like that. You know, what you I'm didn't saying? have to make no video about it though. You know that, right? Like, boom. Listen, like, homie, they like they like, literally. I had comments asking me like <laughs> multiple times. Someone was like, "Yo, can you just check it out. Anything, blah blah." And I was like, "All right, then." You know what I'm saying? I I checked it out. I thought it was trash. I listened to the first half. It sounded in like your, garbage. In your time, and I just put in it your up. Top, in your in your uh, top fifty MC list. Great. Let me ask you this question before I go to to the top fifty MCs list. Greatest MCs. Is that your favorite MCs or who you think are the greatest down the line? Just your favorite, or you think that that's the greatest skilled MCs of all time? Um, that's that list was more about catalog. You know, it was catalogs. Yeah, uh, that was really what I was like in terms of people that have really like they've made the best songs overall that rap has it, heard of, and they have multiple. Solar, Solar made is better than Andre three thousand. Then, I mean, MC Solar has a multiple solo albums. I mean, Three Stacks has never made a solo album. <laughs> it's catalog. It's catalog. Yeah. All right. I, I guess, I guess, yo. I, it makes more sense if you would have labeled it correctly. That's why your rhetoric is kind of harmful because your labeling is not really correct. Like Little like, Dirk made, okay, Little Dirk just made a 50 greatest MCs list uh-huh. and he didn't have nobody on there except like drill music people and stuff like that. But if he said that's his favorite list, his favorites, then boom, cool, whatever. But, okay. but 
Yeah, if you actually go on s- the skills of MCs, then dang, like if that's how you feel, that's how you feel. Here's the thing, though. I'm gonna say this to people, the and this is why I say that ultimately, when people misinterpret um, the kind of stuff that that I say or that I put out there. I, I often have to wonder, like, how long have they really been listening to this rap shit? Because certain things to me are kind of obvious. So, and I'm, I'm going to go a little bit on the side here. Like, for example, when uh, Swizz, and them, Swizz and Timbaland set up these versus battles, right? Now, the versus battles are about catalog, right? I mean... Yes, but right? I, that's not no, what you no. said on the list, though. I, no, I, I don't think you're trying to go away from that. However, that that's no, what no, they no, said listen, on the list. Let me, let me so that's why I go with. There, here's, okay. here's, 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 here's where, I'm, where I'm going with this, right? The fact of the matter is that those versus battles are about catalog. You, it's not about I, that, I, though. I asked you about listen, your labeling. Listen, listen, your labeling. Listen, your labeling, listen, your labeling listen, is incorrect. Listen, oh, listen to me. If you would have labeled it correctly. The, great, the thing that makes people great in hip-hop is their catalog. You don't have to. It's not. It's, it's obvious. You don't have to necessarily say, this is a catalog battle. This is a loose battle. Like It, you know, this it would have helped. It would have made more sense. Again, yeah, certain shit is obvious, man. That, that's that's not, not obvious. Like, it's obvious what you write <laughs> on there, right? Well, if you write listen, that. Then the question that I have is, if if you, like, clearly, right? So people watch my videos. They know, listen, they know that I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> like, no, they, I mean, no, that's, they that's what, that's why, that's videos what videos have thumbs ah, down listen, more than thumbs fine. up. They, because they so, angry. We clearly don't know what you're talking about. We clearly don't, so, we, a lot of people don't think you know what you're talking about, bro. Yeah, a lot, a lot of internet views. I get it, but the point. I is mean, this, but right? they, we, the, if, if, a lot of your followers you think, think no, a lot of I people that listen to your videos think you're the internet geek because you're not of street culture. You're not a part of the four elements of hip hop, <laughs> and and you label this stuff crazily. You know what I'm saying, okay. I don't know if you know this, but a lot of this, you ask. First of all, you ask to come on here and you say just keep it respectful and keep it hip hop. You come off disrespectful. And before you speak is, anything, hip hop is disrespectful, bro. Hip-hop it is. is but it's, what are you talking if, about? If, right if, now? You, if you come, if you come to me in my face and say my shit's garbage, what happens? You talk to me about it, or you swing on me, or whatever. Like I'm we, we, we rumble, we rumble because first of all, whatever. you could tell me, you could come to me and be like, "Hey, how are you? I didn't like the last album." You come to me, you trash. We rumble, yo, straight for now. Like it's it's, it's sure. rumble. So it's, but it, it tells come, me you're emotional, and if you're emotional, oh, indeed, I am emotional. I am <laughs> yeah, definitely. If you're emotional, go listen to R&B. Like, I, mean, <laughs> I listen to R&B. I listen to R&B. I listen to metal. I listen to everything. But there's no but emotion come, in hip-hop? Yeah. Go calm your nerves or something. No, no, I know, Carl. Like I said, that's what I love I wouldn't even hip-hop. be To mix of both. There is obviously emotion in hip-hop, and that's part of what makes hip-hop great. But there is an intellect aspect to hip-hop as well. It's not just being emotional, right? Like, if you want you're to be right. emotional... Go rock he likes to talk to you, Carl. You don't like to talk to me. <laughs> you do interject a lot, Lukey, I will say. I do, I do. But you know what? You know, you know what? You know what? <laughs> this is my show, yo. Word. This is my show. And I, I really 100%. sometimes I apologize. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I'm glad you did come on here, bro. I really am. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I told Carl this. Sometimes when you see an enemy, they can come, enemy. come out of I'm yeah, off. definitely. I believe that you are an enemy of the culture. I believe definitely that you are an enemy of the culture. Um, but I like to tell you this: in Toronto, there is a big, like, push or underground movement of MCs up there called Brown Bag Money. I yes. don't know if you're gonna like them or dig them, but they're all over down here in the Daniel states. Son, Daniel Son, Daniel Family Game Eastwood, Black, A Son Eastwood, Game. Future yep. Wave, Future Wave is a great wave producer. Is amazing. Do you actually know about these guys? If not, no, please read. Please research them. It's great music. Also, and King Bliss the, from up there as well. King Bliss is great. King yes. Bliss is actually on here. Yes, it's yes. great music what up, in man? Toronto. What up? You know what I'm saying? Uh, A-Sun A- Eastwood is uh, Belizean. I'm a huge fan of A-Sun Eastwood. Definitely. Daniel Sun is South African and uh, Canadian descent. You know what I'm saying? Um, Family Game Black is actually, I think, from uh, Rochester, but he lives in Toronto. If you have not listened to this music, dig into it a little bit. Just try. Yeah. Start with start with Yill and Dushi, then go back to um. I'll, I'll hit you with these right here. It's good music, bro. If you don't like it, who cares? But it's actually hip hop that ranks truer to the four elements of hip hop, or to the elements that actually started hip hop. Rapping over the breaks, samples, which is why I kind of get confused with you and your music taste because then you say make something original. Well, hip hop was based off piracy. 
rapping over the breaks. You know what I'm saying? They were still in stuff rapping off over it. So it confuses me sometimes. You go back and forth. But sometimes in your videos, which I watched, and please don't think I'm following you around here like your father, you said, bro. <laughs> one, okay, Supreme Mathematics. Do you know what one, two, and three are in Supreme Mathematics? One, two, and three. One, two, and three is knowledge, wisdom, understanding. So about you, I did the knowledge. It became wisdom. And now to understand, I had a conversation. If Nas, Wu-Tang, and stuff like that, th those are all the guys that are Supreme Mathematics, 5% of the Nation of Guys on Earth. I'm not a yeah. part of Nation of Guys on Earth. Raz Fresco is from Brampton. He's a 5%er. Planet Asia, 5% of all these guys. Knowledge, wisdom, understanding. You get those three down with Supreme Mathematics, everything else becomes good. Sun, moon, and stars as well. Knowledge, wisdom, understanding, one, two, and three. So I did the knowledge on you. I found out you're a Nigerian descent from Toronto. Was a filmmaker. I watched some of Pons. It confused the hell out of me. When he grabbed the Bible, I understood. Damn. <laughs> Man, and he got, he got shot. I got that shit. I was still like, what the fuck? My homie, what up, the rooster from Germany? What up, what up, what up? What up, everybody out there on the, on, the, on the live? But anyway, you get the knowledge to get the wisdom to get the understanding. You do. And uh, some of the rhetoric you do say is harmful, bro. It is. But listen, listen, you watch Pond, right? So you, it's actually really I didn't watch all of it. I think I, think I caught the it. end. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Yeah. So here's here's the thing, right? As again, I I'm an artist in my core, right? You know what I'm saying? Indeed. And if somebody watched Pod or watched part of it, and was like, "This shit is trash." Hey, Lisa, go ahead. That's cool. Like that. That's their opinion. And honestly, I'm the kind of person where I'm like, if somebody if somebody gives first of all, if someone comments on something I made, um, I take it for what it is. You know, if if it's like, it, obviously the 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 more thoughtful the comment, the better for me, even if they don't like it, because it does help me and understand where I can improve and do better. So the point is that I am not opposed at all to people saying that something I made is trash. That's why I don't really That's understand you. like the sensitivity. No, people I get that. But what I'm trying to tell you is people that I'm saying that people are different and I understand that. However, I am trying to say that ultimately, again something that I was liked about rap and especially when we talk about the great days of rap is that people were very blunt you know what i'm saying and people were very and and that's how people got better because at the end of the day if you're blunt you keep it real that's a sign that you can improve now some of it might be hate whatever but the fact of the matter is that art requires criticism to improve because otherwise what's the point you know what i'm saying and i think that uh we, we live in an era now where, unfortunately, it's really odd. And, and you know, Chappelle kind of talked about this. I, I watched his uh, special, Closer. which was dope. I think that was It was crazy. It was, it was, it was crazy. It was, yeah, it was, he went in on everybody. It was great. It was the best thing I've seen him do in a long time. Nah, and I, thought, you know, yeah, I know why. For me. But yeah. the point is that it, we do live in an era, unfortunately, in my opinion, where people are scared to say what they really think. You know, and I think that is very, very dangerous. On on right. on here on here they talk about danger G. You know what I'm saying? First person I, sh I saw get killed was in Glenwood. Dude talk shit. Dude came back around and got shot. I was amazed that that's how people died. Mm. Someone said right on here and said that's how they get ten check and shot. True indeed. I did not know this person that I knew for two days was gonna get murdered. And I'm sitting here looking at this dude's dead body like that's it. If you want, want, okay, if you never saw nobody murdered, get fucked up, or have children, you carry yourself a different way than that right there. Me, my goal is today, even though I got a pack of pistol every day in Atlanta, because I don't know if you see what's going on in Atlanta. Man, motherfuckers getting shot in the highway in Atlanta now. Yep. Uh, fucking home invasions, break into your car, bust the shit. Every time I go to the grocery store, I put buggies around my car so they won't bust my window out. Real shit, I put a force foot around my, my car. If you don't have kids or see nobody get murdered or fucked up, you carry yourself a different way. My goal is every day to make it home so I can play with my daughter. You know what I'm saying? So I can put the foam up and that's my goal. But since I don't think you're of that lifestyle, you think oh, you always want to keep it on wax. But just a few few months ago, Aguilar was talking shit. What happened? They rolled up to a show, whooped that ass. You know what I'm saying? There's consequences to how you say shit. To you, I don't think you think there's any consequences to what you say, like my old co-host. Yeah, really. exactly. Really. Miz, I mean, hold on, hold on, one, one second, one second. Right. At, people on my live, Miz did not think there was any consequences for his actions, even though he went to show. There was a, several things that got called off to fuck this dude up. COVID saved Miz's life. He had, he had, he had to stay inside. 
know what I'm saying? I don't know your situation, where you at. In the morning after I posted your picture, my cousin called me and said, do we have a problem? I said, no, we good, man. What's wrong? Like, what, that, that I offend you? Do I owe you money? He said, no. I saw you post the picture. I'm like, oh, no, it's, it's, it's music, man. It's cool. Then someone from Toronto called me and said, I wonder if I can find where this dude lives. There are consequences. Me, I said, no, it's music, bro. There's consequences to what you say. There is. I'm so over. I should I'm be over worried about I'm it. Up. No, you I shouldn't. Should, you should, should not be worried. Be worried. About an internet no. geek try to find me out. Nah, these are not so internet geeks. Geek. Like, I don't care. You ain't gonna. You ain't gonna get your dick sucked. <laughs> don't say that. Do you, you, you hear yourself? Don't say that. Don't please don't say that, G. Because this is not fans, funny shit. It's, it's not funny, funny to shit. Me. It's funny to it, me. Please, 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 please. It's not listen, funny. Listen, it's not I'm funny, yo. I'm gonna tell you this right. Y'all not gonna do that. Okay. I, Stop. I hope not. Stop. I pray not. I pray Stop. not. They, they, they're not doing anything. Y'all know they're not. Shit. Bro, it's okay. easy to find people, yo. It is. You people can, can find me all day. People have said all kinds of things. My dude, I've been on the internet. I've got goofy Since 2008. that make up Since stories about me all the time. They're not they're making saying, up stories about you, G. Like, I'm trying yo, to say listen, this right here. People see me down here every day. It's easy to find me every day. It's easy. People see they say, people hit me up, say that they saw me at shows and shit. Same thing with this. That's cool. That's cool. Cool. Listen, cool, but hip -hop, it's watch your music. rhetoric. It's just music, man. It's it is, but it's, it's some for some people it's more. Like Who said, killed like Biggie and Pac? It, it's not one of them. Not either one no, of them. But dudes. they got involved in stupid shit. Dude. It's street shit. True like, listen, at the end of the day, and I've said this, like anytime I've gone in on some of these artists, like I said, like I've always said it's the music because that's all I care it's, about. I don't know. I don't know Brazil personally. I ain't got no problems with them personally. Then you it's can't call people like their fans. I just I I can I can call an incident dweeb a dweeb because I know where they're coming from as a dweeb because they say dweeb shit and they do dweeb things, right? That that's I like said that. Fine, fine. <laughs> hey, yo, I, I, honestly, yo, you remind me of myself at like 22, 23. when I when I had no kids in the world when I was naive to how this shit worked. Uh, I was living in Stone Mountain and yeah, and I, then I got robbed and it was over with. <laughs> I got pistol whipped. Anyway, boom. Damn. Um, yeah, I still got the knot on my head. I say in the song, you know what I'm saying? Life gets real after that. When you when you think every I'm from I'm from Missouri, okay. middle of the map. All right. You know what I'm saying I moved down here at uh, Eminem's Eminem's hot old town and shit. Wrong. <laughs> oh my God. Isn't, Emin, isn't Eminem from Missouri? Are you fucking serious? No. Eight mile. It's from Detroit. Nah, Michigan. Michigan. Look it up. Look it up. He's born in Missouri. Born in Missouri, man. Okay, you said born. I thought you meant like I thought you meant hometown, like where he's where he was. No, in. no, no. But I'm saying like I think he's from Missouri. Lived there for a minute, and you know then moved to Detroit. Then, I thought you meant like he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I thought you were saying some frivolous, crazy shit. Like where, where, where? Boy, Boy, see, there the you person, go. the, per, the person, the person. But you, you know we got a communication. We communicated <laughs> after this. You know what I'm saying that's what this video is about: communicating, the talking. Uh, but yeah, dweeb shit. We both do dweeb shit. Me, me, me and you, me and you, honestly qualify as dweebs. Know that right? Yeah. Go if you want to say that. We do. I mean, you can't dance. You don't hoop well. I'm. I got pops, bro. So I good. got my GI Joe. So I good, seen bro. you hoop. I, and I dance, seen you dance. I can dance pretty decent, man. And I'm no, you can't. Decent. I seen you on the basketball court on the IG, that bro. Shit, it was a joke, man. Come on. <laughs> so that's how you shoot for real. Listen, that's no, 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 no. That's how you shoot. Yeah, I shoot like that, and I score like that. It's not the nah, good. It's like actually. It, it's actually no. It's and it's funny because you know it's actually not a good form because I I know this. I play ball, all right? But the thing is, ultimately, if I'm playing against people, obviously I change it up because like I'm not trying to get my shit stuff. You, right? you ain't good. You can't be good. But, you tall though. I know you tall. Er ish. Come on, man. Listen, I hope at though. the end of the day, it's like look. I does this for real. Right when it comes to this hip hop shit, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I talk about basketball. Now, now, yeah, yeah. now, now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. let's now. let's 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 switch this to some music stuff because this is actually what I'm more interested, more curious about. Right? All right, if you, you go ahead, stuff. we're talking music, right? Now, you guys are. I keep hearing about you know, you, you guys are angry at me, or right? they Brazil the you know conglomerates. It's good guys or man. Good, right? they did the job now. for you. Your page is monetized, so you get paid <laughs> off those views. So go ahead, good. I, pay well, I get paid off. The, I get paid off the subscribers, and I don't even get paid. That's all I do it for, man. Like I, I, I haven't, I haven't seen the check. I'm not in it for the check. That's not. Has zero interest. In that. I just do right, it for the, the music. My what point is this, right? 
talk to me. What is, in your opinion, of all the stuff that Brazil has ever released, what, in your opinion, is your strongest? What's the best song? The best song? Yeah, what's that shit? Man, I love Tito's back. I love Tito's Tito's back because the back. Let's, let's 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 do top yeah. three, and I'm gonna write this down so I can actually. Look. I'm gonna I'm gonna try. Like I said, I'm gonna listen to it. I'm... Here's what I can do for you. I'll make you a playlist, whether it's on uh, Apple Music or Spotify, and I'll send it to you. I was gonna do that before, but um, I didn't know how this conversation was gonna go. You know what I'm saying, um, but I'll send you the link to the playlist. I'll give you top three songs. Okay, give me top three songs. I, I, I'll give, I'll, I'll give you, I, how about this? I'll give you top three songs that I think you'll like. Sure, sure. Because sure. I know you like bangers. I know your favorite uh, producer is Swiss Beats. One of them is Swiss Beats because you said, compared, your cousin compared Griselda to the Locks, which is, to me, kind of asinine because they're not a three-man group. It's three solo artists that are in a label that came together to make an album to fulfill a, a contract for Shady Records. That's what it was. That's the problem. I'm not going to play him the cow, and I'm not going to play him that song. Anyway, boom. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, that's why, the number cow, one, the, I did the knowledge. The cow's, the, the cow's trash. I've heard the cow. So let, I'm let's not stop playing. He wouldn't, he wouldn't, he, I know he wouldn't like that song, yo. He wouldn't like that song. It's a, it's a but, aspect but, of life but, that but, he hasn't been cow, moved no, to no, understand no, that. No, no, that's not true. But nah, but the reality is that the cow, the cow is actually one of the better to of the songs. It's still trash, but it's definitely one of the Jesus. better ones. For sure, it's definitely one of the best things that Conway ever said. In like, I would one hundred percent agree. You can hear it. So I don't understand. I don't really get your. St- you like uh, a well trained ear for hip hop does not is not with us. Or does not engage in the abyss. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Some, I don't. I don't get it. When I first did the knowledge on you, which is one, and it became wisdom, which is two. Then now I'm trying to understand, which is three, with you. I just uh-huh. did not understand the more and more. First, I didn't like you. Second, I was like, yo, this dude knows a lot of good shit. It's cutting us. It's cutting us. It's cutting us. So it's done. Oh, yeah. IG Live got cut. It's on, it's on IG Live. But uh, yeah, I was Hold like. On. I'm going to start it back up. Okay, okay. I was really confused on like what your animosity was. It came off kind of like that to this genre rock marciano let's know you don't like him either is um his goat is doom i don't know if you know that doom is the godfather of really all doom mob deep which is havoc he made most of those beats hold on a and, sec um, hold on a sec yeah, yeah. are we still recording well we're, we're still, still recording, recording on zoom but I'm, I'm gonna get us back into live you guys are gonna have to request to join again yeah right. I'm, I'm, I'm i guess we want to yeah, yeah, I'm rejoining right now. And I know you like Doom, man. I was um, confused about that. I'm going to talk about that as well. Then we're going to have pop hop off here. I know people got things to do. I got to go to work. I yeah, yeah. yeah I'd like work. us to actually just wrap it up normal, though. So. Sure. You want to do, um, let's go like at most another half hour at most? Or what, yeah, what yeah. More it's probably going to be that much. Probably going to be that much. That Sounds yeah. good to me, man. Yeah. Once again, thanks for doing this, bro. Yeah, of course, of course. and don't think think that anybody's gonna do any harm to you. You know what I'm saying? They they ain't work. Of course, I know that. All right. All right. Send me that request, Luki. I got to, I got right. to back on. I don't see uh, the live. Like, <clears> sorry, <throat> everybody. Instagram cut us, but we're uh, we're back. Uh, and then let me request. Oh, there you go. Sorry, everybody. Instagram cut us. But He's great, man. Uh, we're back. And like uh, it cut off. Oh, it's coming right now. Yeah. Luke, you should be joining us in just a sec. There he is. All right. Yeah. Um, can I it's can I address so, that though? So what I was saying before we got yeah. cut off on IG Live, real, real, real quick, because they didn't hear this. I, I was saying, like, it really makes me confused why he doesn't like some of the music in the abyss, the underground, the bottomless underground. Cause uh Rock, he don't like Marsh Rock Marciano, but um Doom is the guy fought is his goat. He loves Doom. He's a big Doom head. He said it multiple times, even in, in person. He loves Doom. Havoc, RZA, Doom are the godfather of this underground culture. You know what I'm saying? But really, the, the blueprint was Rock Marciano. You know what I'm saying? He, was, he knows. He knows this. He said, they, he said they're all Rock Marciano's sons. You know what I'm saying? But really, they're Doom, Havoc, and RZA's, RZA's son. That's who this culture actually derived down from. Then he goes, Rock Marciano, Big Ghost. 
Go ahead. Okay, so in answer to your question, bro, it's real simple. It's the same reason why I don't drink RC Cola. I it's like Coke. Taste. I, I like Coke, but I don't drink RC Cola. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, you don't like the taste. I don't like watered down taste, man. It's not just the taste. I don't like I don't like inferior taste. You know what I'm saying? Like you can do you can have your own version of Coke, but it ain't Coke. You think it's inferior? You think I it's, think it's you super think inferior? I think it's super inferior. Like just because you you pattern your shit after doom or whatever it doesn't make you nice. It just it's not like they're trying. It's not like they're trying. Like just okay, sure. Well. But but the point is that listen, I think that hip hop at its core is about being unique and doing you. So no, that's not really. So so sometimes, right, but see, not really. No, see, I completely. Everybody say the same thing, but they say it differently. You don't have to be right. Playboy they, Cardi. To you don't have to. You gotta. It's not like they're they're taking. They're not. They're not like. Okay, one of your followers said that. And you said, which I thank you. You listened to one of my songs. You said it sucked, but you appreciate me for trying to do something different. I don't yeah. try to do anything different. Um, I just do it. Sometimes we just do it, bro. And that's how sure. it comes out. It's not like sure. we're trying to do or be anything else. I don't go in. I'm pretty sure these guys don't go in, go in and be like, yo, let make me something 90s. Or like, make me something like this. We just do it how we do it. And it comes out that way. Sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, but the point is that at the end of the day, I've always felt that hip hop at its core is about you being you, right? So clearly, I'm not Doom, you know, I'm not RZA, I'm not Nas. Like, if I was to rap, I would be Tochi, right? So the point is, I could never listen to a rapper because they remind me of someone else. Like, that's corny to me because it's like, who are you? I want to know who you are. You know what I'm saying? And especially, I know you're not executing on the level of that they are, so automatically it's whack. And you know what I'm saying? Like, listen, I like, and this is why it confuses people why, for example, I would love Doom and I think that Rock Marciano's trash. Because to me, Rock Marciano is doing a watered-down version of MF Doom to a certain extent. And I'm looking at going like, uh, I don't like this. I don't drink RC Cola. If I want Doom, I'm gonna if I'm gonna listen to Doom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if totally I want Coke, I'm gonna get Coke. sounds similar. And the mixes, sure, they're totally sure, different. The, thing, but the, the mixes sound, the operation doomsday. And, they and sound think, sounds similar. Sure, and I think that also a lot of these hip hop artists, especially now, be lying about who they actually are influenced by. And I've been listening to hip hop long enough where I can tell who they're really influenced by. Right? For example, example. Go ahead. Perfect example of this was, and I mentioned this, I think, when I talked about Lupe on my um, channel. I listen to Lupe for, like that. Go ahead. For, for years, I remember when Lupe came out. And Lupe, I never liked Lupe Fiasco. I'm going to keep the book, right? He had one or two songs where I was like, okay, this is all right. You know, I liked his verse on Superstar Remix. I think that's still the best thing he's ever spit, in my opinion. But the point is that when Lupe came out, I was not feeling it. I could not get into his flow. I thought he was offbeat all the time. And I was like trying to figure out, like, why is he so offbeat and abstract? Did he ain't really saying nothing? Like, what the fuck? Right? And he's telling me that he's a Nas and Jay-Z, like, fanatic. And that's who he patterns his stuff after. And I'm like, Neither Nas or Jay are abstract or abstract or on, on offbeat. Like that's just not a thing with them. So like you don't have to be like them. No, no, no. no. But I'm saying, yeah, but my point he's is he's a fan of them. He didn't say he was influenced, correct? No, but no, but he is saying he's influenced by he's been always he always, in fact, every now and then okay. be like, yo, I was raised off that. Uh, but it's like if if that's who you're really influenced by, you wouldn't sound like that. You would sound no, that's necessarily you, nah. you wouldn't sound Bro. offbeat and abstract and weird. No, 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 no. Because again. You know, he's a weird dude. You listen to metal as well, so not sure. But that's what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. He's not. He's not being a hundred about his influences, right? If he's being a yeah. hundred, and if he says, "Look, listen, on some real shit, yeah, I do like Jay and Nas, and I have listened to them, but I really, I'm a metal head, and also I'm Seven a big rap, listen, though. Listen. No, no, no. But and he's like, and I'm also a big Aesop Rock fan because it's only after several several years that he actually admitted that he's a Aesop Rock fanatic. And it's like, mm -hmm. of course, that's why you should just abstract and offbeat because that's Aesop Rock. That's mm -hmm. the influence you should have been talking about. But you won't keep it real. You know what I'm saying? And this is the thing that's sort of, you know, frustrating with this hip hop shit is that people be lying all the time for clout. And they try to convince heads like myself and others who are sitting there going like, man, what the hell? Like, you know, and, and we and people be saying, yo, these guys, they, they, they these old guys are old. They stuck in the past. They don't like this shit. But it's like, no, 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 no. Something about this is off. And now it's like, oh, okay, I now know why your shit is offbeat and abstract because you are an Aesop Rock fanatic. Yeah, and Aesop Rock is trash to me. 
Now, listen, if you like Aesop Rock, that's fine. I am not I'm not, I'm not an Aesop Rock, Rock fan either. I, I get it. Sharp, you it's so a quiet Rock. taste. But it's but not like I'm going to go and call him trash and, or, trash. or whatever. And this, and this is uh, artwork because he has fans. People, all that's these fine. people that you don't that's like fine. have fans. That's and cool. what make, you let, have fans. That's what cool. makes you what makes you the spokesperson for black people on black culture and who in who it's listen to this? Guy. Come on, man. I never said I was a spokesperson. Let's be you real. don't, but you say no black people listen to this. No because, black people listen because, to that. Because I no have an black idea. Because I have an idea for the you have no idea then. You know, I have a general idea for the consent. You have no idea then. You don't because you didn't do one. Because 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 you you don't know because you want you didn't do the knowledge. It didn't turn into wisdom and it didn't turn into understanding. Because if you would did the knowledge, <laughs> I'm trying to help you, brother. It's all an right, intervention. Right. You would have did the knowledge before you spoke, before you speak on some of these things. You would do first, do the knowledge. So two, it would become wisdom. And then talk to somebody or it would become understanding. If you would have did that with Griselda, you wouldn't say these absolutes. Nobody black listens to this. Nobody this right here. Because there is black people listening to this shit. There's a lot of people who love this shit. And that's why we're passionate. And that's why you're on the show right now. Thank Griselda for coming on here so these people can understand you better. You know what I'm saying? Word. <laughs> yeah. Listen, at the end of the day, right? When, so I'll tell you, I lived in Prospect Heights, right? In Brooklyn, right? For, for a number of years, right? I remember there was a cat on my block, right? I, I don't know if he was a street dude. I mean, he, he might have done some stuff back in the day, whatever, right? And um, I remember, I think he was literally the only person I ever knew that actually, like, and I think I heard him actually play a Griselda song once. Because he used to, because what he did, you know, he, you know, hood niggas, he had a, um, what the hell car was it? Some kind of like a Jeep, but not a Jeep, a four wheeler, whatever. And he would just sit on the block with his car and just blast music all the time, especially at night. Good dude. And like, you know, I put him onto some stuff and you play some cool shit here and there. Um, and he likes music. So my point is that, of course, Again, I'm saying this as, as when I say that no one black listens to Griselda, I'm not saying that as like zero people on the planet listen to Griselda. Again, this is hip hop. This is art. We're exaggerating. It is an exaggeration. OK, we're talking in a raw, exaggerated form. What I'm trying to say is that in general, most black hip hop heads do not give a damn about Griselda like they do, for example, about a Nas or about even like an ASAP Rocky or a Drake or whatever. That's what I'm getting at. And anybody that listens to this rap and knows conversation, how this stuff goes, they know what I'm talking about. It's not Yo, that- I did it and I listened to hip hop. I'm well studied. That's fine. So boom, you can't say that. I didn't I'm say that. I'm well studied, well versed, and I'm in the I didn't culture. Say, I, didn't say the number, so boom. I didn't say that the number was zero. But what I say, nobody, Again, it's an exaggeration of meaning close to zero. That's what it means. It doesn't mean it's zero, close but it zero. means but it means close to zero. <laughs> because generalizations have always helped in history. Yes, you're right, Carl. <laughs> sure, sure. But again, this is again, I mean, my people can explain the damages of generalizing sure. done it for fucking centuries. Sure. It, it doesn't help anything. That's all I'm well, saying. But- yeah, but Carl, again, this is an art form, right? It, this is an art form. This is hip hop in particular. And hip hop is about generalization. I mean, when you rap, you are generalizing in a lot of ways. And that's kind of what makes it interesting. Now, of course, you can step back and say, like, that's not exactly correct, you know, 100% of the time, which is fine. And that's part of the conversation, right? But the fact of the matter is that nobody is, <sighs> most people aren't sitting there saying, 97.3 percent of black people do not listen to all that that's not how it no, works we definitely don't do or that. like or like you know you're you know you are whack one and you know only you are whack you know three three point five percent of the time nah so you're whack right and then we can discuss and be like yo is he whack 100 percent of the time nah he's actually kind of nice you know two percent or three percent i mean that's part of the discussion i mean that's how the music engages discussion right it's 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 art form it's not supposed to be direct uh observable sort of like 100 percent stick to the statistics fact that's all just my question to you is why do you focus more on negative than stuff you don't like than more more stuff that you do like that's not true at all uh if your videos if the videos on your page say else well actually that's well, not true either. Uh, so something else uh that's you focus more that's actually not true at all so uh your I largest like- videos have thumbs yeah. downs 
I'm not saying it's sure, all sure. bad. Yeah, but that, a lot of stuff you true. talk about suck. A lot, a lot of your stuff you're talking about negative stuff. Well, I'm gonna say in the last three, four years, a lot of your stuff were based on uh, more negative stuff, stuff you don't like. When That's you, not true though. Hip hop, hip hop is trash in the last three years. Why do you like care then if it's so trash in the last three years? Why do you care about hip hop music if you think it's so trash right now, yo? Because it's frustrating, dude. Not because because I really care about the art form. If I didn't care, I wouldn't say nothing. I then go back. Then, then, then rap. That's why I started uh, rapping. The reason uh, why I started rapping because Doom wasn't dropping and Cool Keith wasn't dropping. So I said, I want to hear comic book rap music. Then I was like, oh shit. Then I found out about God Complex. So I started rapping. That's what, yeah, so I could hear what I want to nah, hear about. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Well, okay, that works for you. But for me, it did, it did. I don't feel like, I feel like rap is for a select few. And it's for in terms of you know doing the art form, and I don't like the idea of polluting the water. To me, I would be polluting the water by rapping because I'm understand the rapper. It's already right? polluted. Like like it's already been polluted. I get it. I mean, so, well, what what's what's and one extra too. person? What's one extra person polluting the water? I guess that's one way of looking at it. But the way I look at it is like, look, listen, like I would be trash. I'm not going to be decent enough to I agree. It, to to do anything like rap wise. It takes you know decades to become good at this craft i can express my interest in hip-hop in other ways like for example you've seen at least a little bit of my uh my short films i've done too right that's how i express my hip-hop i like to use hip-hop soundtracks when i do my music because i'm a huge martial arts fan that's a, that's a huge aspect of hip-hop you know what i'm saying i like martial arts movies that's how i express my hip-hopness if that makes sense in film that's what i'm trying to do in a lot of ways so my point is that instead of me rapping i looked at it and was like well everybody's rapped like i can't make the next liquid swords i can't make the next nomadic i haven't spent enough time you know learning the craft and honestly i don't wake up in the morning with rhymes in my head or beat ideas that's just not how i operate i do wake up in the morning with story ideas and concepts and things that i would love to see in film it's you know sort of comes and comes with, with a hip hop perspective, and so that's how I am doing it. And in a way, I'm being I'm not an MC, but that is an aspect of you know the film aspect is an aspect of hip hop. It's not an aspect of the four elements necessarily, but it is an aspect of hip hop. And so that's why I'm exhibiting my hip hop sort of tastes and aspirations in that format. And that's what I'm trying to say. Like I think that there are ways you can contribute to hip hop culture that doesn't have to necessarily be the four elements. And I just wish that people would realize this instead of pulling the damn water. Like, bro, like not everybody's got a rap. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sorry, I don't want to hear about you, you know, how you got groceries in the morning and how you saw, you know, you sold drugs. That's just boring to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're not gonna, you know, do it on the level close enough to where it's like actually listable and dope, it's trash to me. And um, like, it I, doesn't I matter if you're in the footsteps of a Nas or a Hove and you dress like Hove or whatever, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like, Hove and them did it. Like, um, you know, move on. And I think this is why people have always asked me, say, well, you know, then how could you like all this lyrical shit but then you listen to Playboy Cardi? But it's like, these guys that Playboy Cardi realize that they can't be Nas and Hove. You know what I'm saying? For whatever reason. You know what I'm saying? They felt, you know what? I, I can rap. Because if you look at older videos of Playboy Cardi, Playboy Cardi be rapping. He actually is. Abbott Scott rapping. was rapping. Back in the day as well. That's what I'm saying. But these Grand guys hustle. probably right. They probably realized for style purposes, they were like, okay, that's a style of rap that is dated or whatever. I want to, I want to be, I want to make money, whatever. But the sixteen year old white girls, they wanted sixteen year old white girls to like their music to make money. Sure, sure. Yeah, but the and point that's why that, they rap the way they rap. Sure, but the point is that at the end of the day, I also can respect somebody who's like, you know, I want to be remembered for doing something that is me and different. They I don't want to see that. No, nah, but some of them I think they do. I, I don't and think, I think so. They I think they, they will take control of that. That's why Travis Scott wasn't spitting bullets no more after he signed the Grand Hustle and moved to another, another label because he was spitting bullets, bro. And I remember the last video we had that was dope. He had the pen pentagram upside down on fire. I was like, dang, he's worshiping the devil now? What the hell? The next thing you know, he's singing. I'm like, in, in, in making tons of money dating the Jenner. Uh, or Kardashian. Sure, sure. But yeah. there's, right, but and we know who makes Travis Scott. Travis Scott makes music for the hip hop capital. The it's sixteen white, yeah, it's sixteen cool. old it's white fine. girls. It's fine. But then again, if so, but you know what's funny? <laughs> but what's funny to me is that if I was to make a video about Travis Scott suck, for example, right? I maybe a couple of Travis fans might be that. But I would argue that most of them are not. Like I don't think people are really gonna be like, yo, I'm so mad. Like for example, they don't I, love that woman. So they listen, love the other woman. So when, like, for example, because 
you know, the Griselda and Kendrick ones like really took off, right? I mean, they, I've love been, that, they love that woman. No, no, no. But it's, I'm saying, there's other reasons for that too. Because yeah. it's because, like I said, it's a lot of it has to do with marketing and this shit is really aimed at. You know what I'm saying? Nah, like, bro, this is an organic movement over here with Griselda. This is a, a truly organic movement. I, it's an organic, a crazy organic movement with Griselda. Okay. So, so let me, so let me, so again, we'll, we'll things so? compare. No, I don't. But anyways, so that's beside the point. I want to talk. I actually point. want to talk to music, right? Because, for example, again, people have always, you know, I get this comment on my question, on my comments, are like, oh, he likes ASAP Rocky, he likes Playboy Cardi, blah, blah. I like ASAP Rocky. I like, I like ASAP Rocky ASAP. and Playboy Cardi are the, are the nicest in the last 10 years. Easy. So, oh, man. Easy. And I can tell you, and this is what I'm and this what tell you, I can tell you, and it's a music debate from and I can tell you exactly what it is about their music that I love and what tape. For example, it's your opinion. Obviously. It's your opinion. It's just sure. smoke a crack sure. that shit, yo. Sure. They're the best but rappers. The point, Sure. Uh, artists, I, I, think the I, think artists. The best, I think they've made the best music, hip hop. Best rapper, hip hop, you know, hip hop music. In the last 10 years. Facts. Crack. That's what I think. However, the point That's is, crack. at least I can actually articulate and tell you the project. When I ask people to understand, yo, what's what's the what's the project that these guys have come with that's that's really heat rock that I should go and listen? I get answers from all over the place because Griselda record like 800 projects a year, right? And they're all kind of weak. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> is that right? He <laughs> said Rocky has one project that I love and me and made me say, Yo, I love this dude's yes. music. And that's the first mixtape, Live Love ASAP. To me, the best shit anyone's recorded. With Peso, I said, right? I said, I said that, yeah, that one with Peso and Trilla and Bass and Brandon Bond. Uh, that tape to me is the best hip hop project I have heard from anyone in the last it's 10, very, 10 years. It's very, it's very disappointing. Cause I I hear you, brother, talking about how like the business works and funding and hip hop, and you can't separate this from that. It's very disappointing. And you said the word term frustration for someone who knows. Like we're gonna wrap this up. We've been um talking about this. I I like the ASAP album as well, but um it's frustrating to someone who knows. I am not biased or against anyone. I'm I'm not not friends people out there i have friends that are trump supporters i have friends that are gay shout out to jordan he just got married his husband just looks exactly like him i'm not a bi biased <laughs> to nothing if you like that and i love you i love you i'm friends with christians muslims hindus um i'm not opposed if i love you i love you killers rapists i'm cool with everybody and that's your opinion that's your opinion you know what i'm saying but it really is frustrating when you talk to this brother right here and he knows how certain stuff works, but sometimes he just don't have no clue. He said bots have generated Griselda fan base. When I was online at 12 p.m. trying to buy a fly guy hoodie when they got before they got sold out. So um, brother, it's upsetting sometimes, but I do know you know your shit. You know hip hop, you know the history, you do. But you are no more hip hop than me or Carl. You know what I'm saying? You're not. We are all hip hop. We all in this hip hop. You're rapping over beats. You're hip hop. And I think you think you're more hip hop. Yeah, than I other do. People. I do. I you're do. Not. I you, no, I, I do. And I'm gonna keep it mm -hmm. behind it. And I, I do. And the reason why I feel that way is because you I. You should understand why we're emotional about the shit. Well, no, 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 and that's fine. But like, you, again, relativism to me is kind of corny because at the end of the day, you know, certain people are spending more time. And more and giving more of themselves in terms of whether they're studying things like that and their appreciation for it than, than you might be. Like I'm not like for example, again, I like there are other genres of music and things that I like, but I'm not necessarily an aficionado on those genres. So if someone is like, oh, I'm more, you know, I'm more into movie scores than you are, and I like I know how to cool. support it, I'm totally fine with that. I'm never cool. gonna be like, nah, like you can't be more of a a fishing out of an eye. Like, nah, like it's very possible for you to be that. You probably will know more than me. You know what I'm saying? I, and I think that at the end of the day, there's a lot of people in this hip hop shit that want, they, they want to be part of hip hop, but they also, weirdly enough, don't really want to be part of it like that. And they don't want to like take the time to really understand the shit. They would, I, they would rather deal with it on the surface. I think that's so, you. So they can get that, that they can get that bad. That, that's that right. My brother, that is you. Yeah, that, you kind of just that, described what you're doing, though. Yeah, you really described yourself. Also, you also, okay. Then well, at the end of the day, you just 
don't don't want to take time to understand. It's just trash. That's trash. That's not true. Though. I'm not uh, he, he, but that's exactly what he, he, he doesn't. He doesn't. No, but, but the, Logan, oh, we, but we heard this. He doesn't want to hear about selling drugs. Yeah. <laughs> he's not. He's not. He's not. He he is not a part of this lifestyle. So when he, we talk about but, taking a cookie out of a pot or talking about uh putting putting um. Uh, the, the crack ain't dry. I gotta wait. He doesn't understand that shit. He doesn't want to hear about that shit. I want to no, hear about that shit. No, I, 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 I can't. Run. But check it out. You said that before. You don't want to hear about taking your grocery store and selling drugs. It's cool. No, We're gonna wrap I'm this saying, up because we've been on like, too long. We've been on this too long. Real quick. Go ahead. 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 I'm gonna let you talk. Girl. The thing is, Carl, like, you look, he gotta talk to you. You talk to me. I've been listening to rap for so long. And You're 38. The same year as your years of years. Right. Me. But I'm saying, yeah. right. But the point is that, like, I first heard, the, I think, if the first rap record I heard was. It was either like uh, nothing but a G thing or jump by like Chris Cross or some shit. Like I'm saying, I've been listening to rap for a minute. So like for me to, when I hear certain things, like you can tell, like I remember, yo, there's a, there's a, there's a, a guy in, uh, in, in Toronto who's actually very instrumental to the Toronto hip hop scene. Maestro Fresh West? West? Not Maestro. Uh, so I'm not going to say his name, but like, but anyways, I, I went to him, I went to him, with, at the time, I had an artist that I was managing. Okay, it was an artist that I was like trying to get out there, and this guy was actually pretty talented. And uh, I'm not gonna say that either. But anyways, the point is, I went to I went to this guy who's instrumental to the Toronto hip hop scene, and we had recorded a track. And uh, you know, I played him. I was like, "Yo, listen to this shit. Listen to this." So finally, he decides to. Listen. I mean, this dude literally listened for ten seconds and was like, "Ah, that's cool." And I remember thinking, what the hell? Like, you didn't even listen to the whole thing. You didn't even listen to blah, blah, blah. But it's like... It's just like my comedy. No, no, no. But listen, but listen. The point, the fact of the matter is this. And yes, on one hand, he didn't give it a shot. But on the other hand, this, like, is a guy, this is a guy who has been listening to hip-hop. He's part of hip-hop in Toronto. He's an instrumental scene. He has put on artists. He has been listening. He has heard millions of records at this point. So he knows, like... His 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 listener base and what he has in his head is more than mine, especially at that time. So he knew where the song was going within the first 10 seconds. He can tell. And he didn't say it was trash. He just was like, oh, okay, I've heard this before. That's cool. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. So, like, I can listen to a song at this stage. I can hear a song from Griselda or whoever. And I can tell within the first like 10, 15 seconds where the shit is going. I can listen to four or five songs on the album. I'm like, I kind of know where this is going. And do I want to be on that journey or not? And it's, it's. I mean, this is just basic shit. No, 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 not really. Because now in today's age, which you don't like Alchemist, he says that uh, Alchemist is a washed up producer. <laughs> Beat song, songs change so much in, nowadays. There'll be like three or four beat changes or, or 97 Hove. Uh, it goes one way, then he switches to the other part. It's like I still hope the second beat is nice. I like that beat. It's, it's kind of decent too. Yeah, Actually, I think it's one of the better ones. I know it's Alchemist. I said so, I'm pretty sure my comment. I'm pretty sure I have a comment on that video saying uh, uh, this we gotta wrap this up because my computer is dying. Uh, uh, but the deal is, once again, I'm so happy you came on here. Uh, but the end result is definitely you are an 85er with a 10 percent mind state. Sure. I'm a five. I'm a fiver all day. You know what I'm saying? An 85er with a 10% mind state. But you 85, bro. It's all love, though. But uh, if I ever come to Toronto, let's get a beer, bro. On me. My homie, Ryan right. Dolan from my college, uh, he actually, uh, from high school, I should say, he uh, is, was a big Rush Limbaugh fan. I don't know if you're familiar with Rush Limbaugh, but that's a piece of shit white man right there who died. You know what I'm saying? Uh, go back home and drink with him, too. There's no hard feelings here. Of I don't course. understand you, but we can have fun and dance to play Playboy Cardi as long as there's bitches there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? As long as there's bitches there, ain't no bitches there, I ain't going. Hey, yo, um, I'm sorry, Linus the Queen, for saying bitches. You know what I'm saying? Boom. But boom. Yeah. <laughs> there's girls there. I'm I'm, I'm going to dance. I'm going to have fun. No girls, I ain't going. Boom. But once again, will you tell them where to find you on social media real quick for our, my computer dodge, brother? Yeah, yeah, so obviously I'm on YouTube, so T-R-T-A-T-O-C-H-I-R-T-A. -T you can find my channel there. Um, Hip Hop Tochi on IG. You know, check me out. So indeed, so indeed. But I mean, Toronto, though. Toronto, it was lioness. Uh, I don't, I've never been to Toronto before. You know what I'm saying? So boom. I don't, I don't know nothing about that. I'm talking about where he goes 
it has to be be there. I don't know what clubs he frequents. You know what I'm saying? You might be the day where there's no girls' day. It might be late, ladies' night. It's Wednesday <laughs> or Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? But we got to go with his women so I can just look no, at them. I'm going to say one last thing about Toronto, right? So I've seen this in interviews a number of times where um, American rappers would be Nori and all these guys. They're shocked. because they, And they've said this. In no, I, I, don't, I don't know. We, we, we talk about Toronto a lot. He's from Toronto. We know sure. Toronto is little New York with Burroughs. Trust me, I represent. Right. I represent yeah. all the time. So, all the time. And, they're, and, and they're shocked. They, they've said this in interviews. I've heard this more than enough We're times. Not to certain people. They're shocked at how much Drake knows. They're like, yo, Drake knows more about shit than we do. And that's facts. There are people in Toronto, man, that know this hip hop shit like the back of their hand, and you would be surprised. I'm pretty sure I'm one of them. I, I'm not surprised. Hip hop is, hip -hop is genderless. Hip hop is not. Hip hop is genderless. Hip hop is that has no nationality anymore. Hip hop right. is oh, we have people over here from Germany. The DJ, who else we got here? Toronto. I've been following here? this shit the since Caribbean. the early eighties. Hey, uh, so, I'm yeah. just telling you, Linus, yeah. Linus, where you at? You in you in Barbados right now? Hip hop is everywhere, and that's what this show is about. The hip hop, sure. the abyss. So you should come along with us, brother. That's why I think if you're dope, if you're dope, you should be dope. You can't just be. I don't believe in that. Oh, I'm only dope in Atlanta or region or whatever. I don't believe in that shit. Because hey, I, I, bro, I love some Pimp C, but niggas so wasn't pumping Pimp C in Queens. You know what I'm saying? Pimp C's cool. Pimp, Pimp C's dope, but he's Pimp not. C be, Pimp C a trill nigga. That, that Polo, dope. Polo, fuck that hill, and he produced. It's an acquired bro, taste. Pimp C's ill. Pimp C's ill. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's an acquired taste. They're it's Ill, because, they're it's because you think, okay, Raven Simone, I don't think she's fine. You know what I'm saying? But there's some dude out there who think who would eat Raven Simone's ass. Not me. You know what I'm saying? Word. I like I like Mega Good, A Marie, and uh, I love A Marie. These women are beautiful to me. Man, I don't like Lizzo. I ain't trying to smash Lizzo, but some dude, my homie, what's that nigga? Kent. My Kent would love Lizzo. Kent love the big girls. So maybe it's a acquired taste. Like you don't like Kansas City ribs, and I, I like down south cooking, down south ribs. It's the same thing. It's acquired taste. It's your opinion. But when you say stuff is absolutes, come off definitely as an eighty-five. Absolute. Yeah, you get, you get. Man. No, 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 no. But you, you come off that. You say nah, absolutely. Man. Yeah, but you're not yeah. of that. You, you're not of that. Yeah. You're not of the streets, and you don't do the four elements of hip hop. No, so, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not and you never claim to either. I never claim to be involved. Yeah, in but you it's act like being crime. more hip hop for somebody, you're gonna get a trophy or some shit. It's like you got you, just you, just yeah. you hook, shook, shook hands with Cool Herc makes you more hip hop than anybody. Nah, it I'm doesn't make that. That's what you say when you talk about me. I'm saying that you gotta. I'm just saying that if you really claim to like this rap shit, I love it. I don't it. like it. I love it. Sure. I love it. There's a it's, time in my I'm life where I would have died over it. You know sure. what I'm saying? Sure. Word. And like, and I've, and I've, and I've expect, you know, and I've agreed with you that there is a difference between someone who's in, in the craft element, who's actively, per, you know, doing the craft, and versus. And that's probably critic. what you don't I'm understand about us. I'm a critic. I told you, definitely you, you are. guys know this. You are not I've part of hip hop culture. You're a fan of culture. There you I'm go. A, and that's I'm why you don't understand why me and others can be so fucking offended by the fuck stuff you fucking say. No, nah, well, because I think you what you're offended by is by being emotional necessarily. Because again, because people artist, are full of emotions, B. Yeah, that's I why that's why you argue I'm with someone in the streets in the car, you pull the burner out and you shoot them. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. I don't think I think your life has been very chill. My dude, 1,000%. True, indeed. I did the knowledge yeah. about what your father does to occupation. I did that knowledge. So I understand your life is being chill. Yeah. Your father's yeah, looking down the barrel of a gun yeah. will change your viewpoint. <laughs> really, really true, and true, indeed. I seen this. Your life has been chill. My life has been life, chill. My life's been chill. But you know what I'm I'm, I'm, I'm jealous saying, of like, you. A lot, a, 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 I do think that at the end of the day, I do think it's funny how people would be digging like crazy. But there's the internet, and I said, this is why I say that I got a lot of these trolls and believes to follow me, man. Um, yeah, for real. They really be on my. Oh uh, man, my 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 shit my shit died. My shit okay, died. Right. My shit died. We only on live right. right now. Peace, everybody.